people of the society. They're not just leaders of today, they're leaders of tomorrow. And so you cannot give what you don't have. A lot needs to be done to make sure you invest in them, but also for them to know that we are here for them. We need to change that narrative. Because if they don't understand that, then, you know, they must also be ready to learn and equip them. You know, the world is getting so, uh, I'm trying to find the word, competitive. And because of that competitiveness, it means that you must do everything better, rise above whatever storm or challenges. In rising above it is submission, to want to learn, be teachable, be ready to know that this land is all ours. We must be a blessing to it, be a solution provider, quit the blame game, engage, occupy the space. We are here. That's why somebody like me is like, you know, we need more people to actually let them know the importance. It's all about them. You know, shortchanging ourselves is not preparing our youth for tomorrow. So, but let them come closer, talk to us, listen in good faith, and trust the system. It's about a process. It's a process. You, you know, I talk about instant gratification because of the peer pressures and all that. Yes, we have needs. Some needs can be deferred if you put value first. Value on top of a lot of things. When you add value, the price you will charge for so many things will come later and it becomes priceless. But be the very best of you. Be an asset. Be a role model to this great, great country. Be the answer to Nigeria's problem. Nigeria, you know, like in politics, we say it's a numbers game. For me, I cannot see anything less. Our youth, you know, the great citizenship is what makes us the best country in the world. I see something that a lot of people don't see. I see beyond the, you know, the box. And if only we can all understand that power in numbers. I mean, that's why we are being sought after by so many countries now, you know, productivity, okay? You, we cannot remain consumers and not produce and expect dollar rates to go down. No pain, no gain. We all need to go back to the drawing table. What are you producing? What value are you adding to this country? What is sellable abroad that they too can buy into? I talk about human cap capacity development. That is what we have in our youth. For me, when I go around the Kodu, I'm with a smile because I see the youth. I'm, I'm challenged like, wow, this is money in the bank for us. How do I direct it to actually make it work to where it adds value to it? You know, where everybody can touch and feel. But unfortunately, when you talk, they are like, this is all that story. It's not princess all that story. Give yourself two year, three year, five year game plan. And say in five years time, this is where I want to see myself. How am I preparing for that five years time from today? That's what I talk about, changing the narrative. Mindset, the unseen controls the sin. When you take care of the mind and believe, you will achieve.